their families, the dog was there too. Ray Knight now says his Reds have reached the mountaintop. If that's the case, where does his former team, the Mets, stand? Top six, 2-1, Todd Hundley. Get out of here, second deck. Hundley's 29th of the season. It is 3-1 Mets. Bobby Jones trying to snap a personal three-game skid. You know, Bobby Jones, all the talk about the young pitchers, Bobby Jones has proven to be the force of the ocean. Maybe a third starter, maybe a fourth starter, but ever reliable. This is reliable. Ball stays in the air into the glove of Jeff Kent. And Jones, complete game three hitter. Mets win 7-1. to one. They snap us on the mound. He was going for win number 18. Watts will hurt you. Sean Estes to lead off the inning. That's the opposing pitcher. That's a walk. Three batters later, Matt Williams smokes over Grissom's head in center. Estes scores. It's tied at one. Bottom of the fifth, the Giants begin to pull away. It's 3-1. And Bonds, he loves to hit against great pitchers, doesn't he? Well, that's amazing. He hit the home run earlier in this series, uh, series off Maddox. Matter of fact, Maddox's first start against the, the Giants in, in Candlestick. He did it a couple years ago. That way will hit anyone. Sato plays 17 of 20 on the road. Sosa, left center, 35th of the year. That leads the league, and the Cubs are down 2-1. to one. Bottom of the fourth, 4-2 four Cubs, and Chicago with some problems in the field. Typical of Jim Bullinger's year. Nothing goes right. There's a ball just off Jose Hernandez's glove. Then Quinton McCracken hits a ground ball. Ah, just off Mark Grace, probably their best defender. And then ball hit hard. Ray Sanchez takes a hop off his glove. That's called bad look. 5-4, Charlie Houston says, focus, people. They do in the fifth, Brian McRae. John Vanderwall, it's dropping, and McRae takes it off the turf. Then the tying run on second and the eighth. Sanchez, pretty. Spin, Castilla, out. Cubbies win by a final score of 7-5 to five over the Rocks. Bullinger, 22 pitches to get his first eight out. Then in the third, Offerman went down and took it out. Second of the year, 2-1 Royals. Eighth year, looked like a $15 million pitcher. Absolutely great stuff today, and he looks so much more relaxed. There's breaking ball to strike out there. Then he comes back, throws a high heat right by him. Very happy man to be home in KC. Seven Ks and eight innings for Apier. Bottom nine, there's Strawberry. One difference, no Apier. And here's the payoff. Swung on and drilled to deep right. That is high, that is far, that is gone! It's a two-run game-winning home run for Gerald Strawberry. Yankees win! <laughs> Yankees win! <laughs> what did he say? All right, all right. <laughs> Jason for Davey Johnson. Bottom three, O's up one zip. Look at this. It's great. He, he actually hurt his leg running down the line, but you see, there are two guys here. Couldn't somebody tell him he didn't have to slide? There was nobody covering home plate. He hurts his leg. Had nothing to do with the appendicitis on a tag up. O's up two zip. It's 3 2, and BJ Surhoff ties it at three, his 15th of the year career high. Bottom 12, Alomar facing Jose Mesa. Kenny Lofton takes the game over. First, he takes a home run away that ends the inning. Would have ended the inning. Then it's Mike Devereaux. He singles to center. Polonia for third, and Lofton throws him out. It's the Kenny Lofton show. And then Jim Tomei in the top of the 13th. Three run, home run to left. Indians win 6 3. Tomei's 21st home run. You rarely talk about Kenny Lofton's arm. No, he gets it. Man on first, Lansing right up the middle. Look at Ozzy. There's one, there's the double play. 3-3 three, three game, bottom eight. Ozzy at the plate. Luis Sally say is on second. And Ozzy down, and it goes into center field. Cards up 4-3. It was 6-3 after eight. Here comes Eck. They give up the leadoff home run to Shane Andrews. The next two guys get on. Tony La Russa has to come out and make a change. The Cardinals do win, but as you watch in a second as he walk off, Peter, he wasn't happy. Well, it's tough when you're a Hall of Famer and you get booed, but Cardinals know they have to do something about their bullpen. They try to get Tom Hankey to come back again last week. He said no. Danny Jackson's going to come back and be in the bullpen, but they've still been looking. It's that guy, Shane Reynolds. Solo home run to Greg Gagne here. Gagne seventh, two nothing Dodgers. Bottom six, same score. John Cangelosi. Pops one up. Mike Piazza. Man meets wall. And this time, man takes care of it. Doesn't hang on to the ball. Cangelosi would end up knocking in the tying run with a single. It's 2 2. One out. Mondesi on first. This is a huge play in the game. James Mouton, who has really played well since they put him in center field, charges the ball. Mondesi said, OK, I'll challenge your arm. Guns him out. Bottom nine. Same score. 2 2. Joey Eichen. Hey, first man he faces Orlando Miller. It's over. Miller's 11th. 
Strohs win 3-2. Not a bad homestand attendance-wise for the Strohs. They averaged 32,674 over 10 games. Tommy Lasorda met again with Dodgers brass. To Steve Finley early on, out lighter. Hayes, Padres hitter is frustrated throughout the game. Bottom six, two on. Nobody out. Marlins up 5-2. 4-9. Ooh. Three-run shot, number 18 on the year. It's now a wide open game. 8-2. John Flaherty hitless. John Flaherty hitless. John Flaherty needs a hit here to extend the hitting streak to 28. And he would not. Streak over. Florida wins by a final score of 8-2. Sheffield's homer in this one, 28th. That's a new Marlins. I should say, Basio off the 60-day DL. Melvin Nieves. Rich Amaral, they need some help. No. Nieves ends up on third with a triple. Three batters later, two on. Daniel lays down the bunt. Paul Sorrento, Joey Cora. Off the bag. Still in the second. 5-0 Tigers. Cecil. Basio. 8-0 mm. Tigers. Seven runs, second inning for Detroit. Top of the seventh, last minor the Cecil. Well, that's now seven straight years the Cecil's hit 25 or more home runs. One sad thing is he'd love to see him in a pennant race before it gets a little bit longer. Omar Oliveris, he's in for the complete game. Darren Bragg to center. And the team gets tripped up. Jeff Manto scores. Didn't come easy for the Tigers, though they do win 14 to 6. You sure hope so. Facing Ron Karkabice with his game face on. And he hit the ball real hard. Eight homers this year for Ron. Nine homers this year for Ron. White Sox up 1-0. Bottom four, they've tied it. The Rangers have Pavlik facing Karkabice again. So Roger looks even meaner at him. And Ron hits the ball real hard, too. On the ground, Danny Tartable comes in all the way from first, and they're not going to get him either. The White Sox will lead 2-1. Karkabice is driven in both runs. This was a lot for Alex Fernandez. They'd get him some runs late. They'd get him some defense early. Nice bunt, Daryl Hamilton. Nicer pickup, Robin Ventura. And is Dave Martinez, Frank Thomas? Well, offensively, probably not, but defensively, there might be a little improvement there. Nice glove work for the former Cubs center fielder. Meanwhile, a little bit further over in the infield, Ray Durham picked it up. Rob Rusty Greer, close, but that goes to the defensive team. He would enter in the drama on Sunday. Scott Stahoviak, base knock. Bottom of the first, Kevin Mitchell hits the relay, man. Marty Cordova would score 2-0 nice Twins. Top four, 2-0 Twins, debut. Mo Vaughn, it's gone. Wow, you might be interviewing Mo Vaughn. A moment of silence for this. The end of the top, top deck here. 457 feet, 2-1, Twins, Vaughn's 31st. Bottom five, 3-2 Sox, Roberto Kelly. Reaches on John Valentin's error. Chuck Knobloch would score. Valentin's 12th error of the season would not at three. Next batter, it's Jeff Rebele. Shot is snared by Reggie Jefferson, but Aaron Seeley is late in covering the bag. Molitor scores 4-3 twins. Where is Archimedes Pozo? There he is, top nine bases loaded. Pozo off Eddie Gordado. It's gone. Sox down one, nine, eight. Grand slam. After a Valentin single, Mo Vaughn a chance to put the Sox ahead. A 6-3 double play. Kevin Kennedy. Loses another one. Your final nine to eight, but can pronounce Kevin Seitzer hadn't gone three games without a hit since 1993. He hadn't had a hit in two days. Okay, that's over with. Seitzer's 11th homer of the year, 3 2 Brewers. And Seitzer showing you why he wears that emergency flap. Almost got nailed by Mike James. This one is up around the shoulders and oh. that's why he wears it and has kept on wearing it. Bottom of the eighth, one man on, two out. Brewers up 3 2. Don Slot. It's deep, long fly ball, Pat Listash. You see it now, certainly in this third airing, the glasses come flying off. Ends the inning, bottom of the ninth, 3-2 Brewers, Jim Edmonds on the bench, pinch hitting, long fly ball off ex-Angel Mike Fetters. It's deep and I don't think it's playable. It's deep and I think the game's tied. 3-3, 16th homer of the year, still 3-3 in the 13th, Jesse Levis, a pinch hit single up the middle, off the gloves of both pitcher Mike Holtz and Randy Velarde, Cirillo scores. Third. Focused. Chris Peters trying to bunt. Watch Bogar. Likely will go to the bench once Bayerga arrives, but he made a great catch right there. Bottom six. Mets up two zip. Butch Husky had two home runs. This is the first of the two. He's now got 12 homers on the year. He crushed it. Mets are up by the score of 3 nothing. Meanwhile, Pete Harnish on track. Striking out Jeff King. Harnish had seven strikeouts in the game. Bottom seven, three-nothing Mets. Lance Johnson, who went three for four, 
Singles to right. Bogart comes in to score. Johnson now has 142 hits on the year. That leads the league. Top of the ninth. Mets up five zip. Harnish still in control against Orlando Merced. That's going to be a double play as the Mets go on to beat Pittsburgh by the final score of five to nothing. The homer for Alfonso who says he's looking forward to proving that he can be an everyday player. Standing in against Mike Hampton in the second. Spuds will get that one off his knuckles. He breaks his bat, so he has to bat for him. I'm going to have to have a new piece of lumber. I'll take the one in the middle. With the new bat, Sabo. Well, snap my bat and call me Corky. A little pop up to short, but oh, ho, ho. home plate umpire Tom Hallion. He finds the bat, gives it to Deb Montague, and we got issues. Here's another look at the pop up. Sabo and I don't think that Shotzi hair flying out of there. You see Cork everywhere. Sabo is ejected. One nothing Reds in the eighth. Bill Spires pinch hitting against Mark Portugal and Spires speaks Portuguese. A home run. He's now three for four in his career against Portugal. That ties the game at one. Still in the eighth. A couple on. Hector Carrasco against Jeff Bagwell. Just smokes it up the middle. Derek May would score two one Astros in the ninth. The kid, Wagner, Billy Wagner, facing Joe Oliver. No soup for you. Wagner struck out two off. in the inning to save it, and the Astros would win it two. Yeah. Base hit up the middle. Ellis Brooks comes in, comes in to score. We're tied at one run apiece. Bottom four still 1-1. One, one. Moises Alou on second. Henry Rodriguez, who went two for four. Base hit to right field. Alou comes in to score, and Rodriguez actually able to stretch it into a double. 2-1 Expos. Three batters later, Jamie Wright on the hill. Rodriguez is on third. Wright intentionally walked Shane Andrews to get to the pitcher, Real Cormier, and we have a developing situation. This is the pitcher now. Cormier went two for two. He's a 180 career hitter. And look at that, off the wall for a triple. Rodriguez scores. Andrews scores. And the Expos go up by the score of 4-1. Top of the eighth. Weiss to center. Rondell White coming in, coming in, efforting. Great effort. Montreal wins it by the score of four to one. So the Rockies have now lost 12 of their last 15 on the road. When talking about Marlin trying to get some sun, top of the first, no score. Steve Finley loops a single to right field. Chris Gomez comes in to score. San Diego's up by the score of one nothing. Then Ken Caminiti loops single to left. Drives in Wally Joyner. Caminiti hitting 365 with nine RBIs against Florida this year. Bottom of the first now, three nothing San Diego. Gary Sheffield strikes out. Has some issues with the umpire, Dana DeMuth. Minor issues here, but later they became more significant, and Sheffield would be thrown out of the game. Top of the third, 3-1 Padres. Brian Johnson doubles to the right field gap. That scores Caminiti, and the Padres go on to win by the final score of 5-3. Scott Sanders goes.